Morning, everyone. Tonight at 10, the family of a man shot and killed by security guards outside a Midtown bar this summer is speaking out tonight. This is after the district attorney decided not to file any charges. And this week, we told you that DA Glenn Flunk's office did not find enough probable cause to charge the two security guards in the death of Patrick Charles. Our Daniel Jackson spoke with Charles' family tonight. So, Danielle, they had some strong words here on the DA's decision. Tracy and Marty says, right, I talked with Sandra Booker, Patrick Charles' mother, as well as his aunt. They're upset with the DA's decision. They want those involved in the shooting held accountable. Every party that, that had something to do with this, they need to be charged because they murdered my son. There's not a day that goes by that Sandra Booker says she doesn't think about her son, Patrick Charles. And dealing with the grief now coupled with the DA's decision not to move forward with charges in the case is gut-wrenching. My son wasn't trying to harm anyone as, as the camera shows that he was shooting in the air. Charles is seen in this surveillance video back in June firing shots. There was an argument between Charles and his sister's boyfriend after leaving a nightclub near Music Row. Metro police say the boyfriend drove off and Charles allegedly shot towards the car. Two security guards, Beck Wandry and Kelvin Torres, shot at Charles. He died at the hospital. This week, the DA's office announced they would not prosecute the security officers. I wasn't pleased with the whole uh, investigation on what they said. The DA's office says Charles was presenting a danger of death and the security officers were stopping the threat. But Charles's family disagrees. They posed more of a threat than he did. He shot in the air. They shot in the direct area of where everybody was at. It didn't take those many shots. It didn't. The DA investigation report reveals that Jack Bird, a civilian on the scene that night who owns the security company Solarin, picked up Charles's weapon from the scene and kept it until police arrived. This raised the question, was evidence tampered by Bird's actions? Another layer to this investigation that doesn't sit right with Charles's family. He asked Ms. Harris to put the gun down. If she didn't put the gun down, they were going to start shooting at her. This is what Jack Bird said. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. She gave the gun to him and he put it in his vest and took it home with a whole murder scene out there. How in the world did that happen? And nobody raised red flags up. The DA's office claims Bird took the gun to preserve it for responding law enforcement. Now this family feels like the DA's decision to not prosecute falls short of the justice they were hoping for. I know it's a, it was a long going process and they have to do their jobs or whatever, but I feel as though it could have been done the right way. I mean, if they're not going to be charged or whatever, I mean, somebody got to be charged. I mean, my son lost his life. And the family plans to continue to pursue a civil suit with their attorney, Benjamin Crump. They also told me they will not fighting. They will not stop fighting for justice for their loved one. Marius. Mm. Danielle, thank you so much.